In this video, we're going to take a look at what are called complex fractions, but mainly focus on order of operations. A complex fraction is simply a fraction in a fraction, where either the numerator or denominator has a fraction, or at least one fraction in it. To simplify these complex fractions, or problems that have lots of operations with fractions, we'll simply use the order of operations that we should be very familiar with by this point in our course. So let's take a look at an example. This first one is quite the complex fractions. Order of operations, PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, tells us to do parentheses first. And you remember from our earlier discussion that the numerator and denominator have an invisible set of parentheses around them. So let's do those first. To make this easier, it's kind of difficult to do this mentally now, I'm going to make a scratch work on the side to do this 1 half plus 3 fourths on. We know in order to add fractions, we need a common denominator, and the common denominator here is going to be 4. So we need to multiply the first fraction by 2 over 2 to get 2 fourths plus 3 fourths which is 5 fourths. So that numerator reduces or simplifies to 5 fourths. The denominator, 9 halves minus 1 third. The common denominator we have there is 6, so we'll multiply by 2, by 3 over 3 on the first fraction and by 2 over 2 on the second fraction to give us 27 sixths minus 2 sixth, which is 25 sixth. For our next step, we'll remember that the fraction bar simply means division. We're really doing 5 fourths divided by 25 sixths. To divide fractions, we multiply by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction. So we have 5 fourths times the reciprocal 6 over 25. We'll see we can reduce this by dividing by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 25 divided by 5 is 5. And then on the other diagonal, dividing by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then we remember to multiply fractions, we multiply straight across both numerator and denominator. 1 times 3 is 3, and 2 times 5 is 10. We have our final solution of 3 tenths. Let's try another example. Or actually, I think I'm going to do a part 2 of this video, where I do another example which has order of operations with the fractions in it. But to summarize this problem we just finished, these complex fractions are fractions and fractions. Remember, we simplify the numerator and denominator separately because of the invisible parentheses. And then, we remember that the fraction bar simply represents division, and we get our final solution. Part 2, we'll look at another problem with order of operations.